Hello, I'm Chucky Delano, and today I'm going to take you through drawing text on a path. For those of you that aren't familiar, the way we get a path is we draw that with a pen. And the pen tool is right next to the text tool. It looks like this. The one thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that on when you have the pen tool selected, you must click on the paths right here. And it's a little daunting to use at first. The way it works is you click one once to get the first the starting point. Then the second thing that you do is click again. You hold it and you drag and what it does is it makes curves. So there's my path. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the text tool. And what we want to do is we want to make sure it's a fairly large font so if we click this button right here it takes us to the character information on our text I've got Gil Sans Ultra Bold which is a very bold font and I've got the color selected as black which that's what we want right now and I've got 48 points set when I bring this cursor or the crossbar close to the path you'll notice it kinda changes a little bit there when I click on that my cursor shows up my crossbar and I can type a word in there so I'm going to go ahead and type the word earth and of course you can't see it all right now so I'm going to take my selection tool there's a path selection tool and a direct selection tool you will want to select the direct selection tool and when you come over here you notice that there will be a little arrow a little black arrow and we can move this along the path so maybe you can see a few more or a few less letters. The other thing that we can do is we can flip it upside down but that's not what I want right now. If I want to change this maybe it's a little bit too uh, large for what I want I can just double click on this and I can change the size of my font. I can also change the height and width by just dragging left and right. And I want to leave this at about 100 right now. And once I'm done, I'm going to go here and I'm going to check it saying, yes, that's what I want to do. Now, that's the text on path trick. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to superimpose an image on top of our text. So I'm going to grab my layer or my picture of the planet and I'm going to drag it above the text and how this works is, is I'm going to superimpose the planet on top of our text. In order to do that I'm going to hit the command option G or control alt G and you can see that our image of the earth was superimposed on top of those letters. Now if I want to do some sort of special effects to this I can click on the text layer and I can come down here to our effects palette and look at maybe adding a drop shadow to that or if I want to give it some sort of a bevel and emboss I can also emboss it so there we have it I've used the pen tool here to be able to draw a path and then use the text tool to type some text on a path then I've moved my text layer underneath my image and hit the control alt G or command alt G and what that's done is it superimposed the picture of the planet Earth on top of our text. Hope you enjoyed it. Come visit me again for another one of my tutorials.